All right, so this lesson is basically all about how to shade. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to have a layer to kind of mark out where my light source is going to be coming from. My light source is going to, for this particular one, I'm going to have my light source coming right, right from the top here. So I'm going to just make a little layer with just kind of like a little, like, hey, that's where the sun's going to be coming down through the ocean. It's kind of a very flat and weird sun. And I'm keeping my line layer locked. Uh, I'm going to go through and I'm going to lock the transparency on each of these layers. Now there's two ways of locking your layers. There's the way you lock like this, and that means that I can't draw anything on that layer. So if I put a mark there, nope, can't do anything. The other way is locking the transparency, which is when I come here and I tap on the layer, I don't open that secondary window like this, but I'm going to tap on that little lock. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to lock each of those. Oops, I want to hide a layer. This is the first thing I do when I do any kind of shading. And I'm going to demonstrate just on his head or this fish's head right here. And then I'm gonna do a time-lapse video where I do the rest of it. Um, so I'm gonna to go to the, the layer I wanna work on, which is this layer right here. Normally what I do is I start at the very bottom and I work my way all the way up. So I'm very systematic about it. But for this particular case, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this whole layer and I apologize for the noise. And the garbage cans is being brought in. So I'm going to move that layer all the way down here. That way I am continuing the, the system that I normally do. Um, if I have things, like if this layer had marks going on the other side, like outside of the layer, then that would be something I would want to change. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top here. Uh, this part, so the light is going to come down from the top and it's going to be shadowed in on the bottom here. And that's how the whole picture is going to be. So everything, wherever my light source is from, the, from there, anything that's like kind of closer to that, that's going to be uh, highlighted and everything further away is going to be in shadow. Um, so kind of the bottom half of the fish and this fish is going to be in shadow. Um, I'm going to start thinking about all of these things over here, try to figure out where my shadows will be. And I will also try to put a shadow about where I think the fish might be floating above, um, on the sand. We'll do the best we can on that one. It's going to be kind of a guess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my right tools. So my tools I'm using are on the designer. Um, tool set or brush set. Um, so if you haven't pinned that brush set already, you need to pin that to your tool over here. You just grab one of those tools, press the pin button, and that's all your tools there. So the brush I want to use is going to be the airbrush tapered. Okay, that's um, there's two of them. There's Hardline Airbrush, which is great for some things, but not for this one. Airbrush Tapered is the one I want to use. <clears throat> so I'm going to, um, I'm on this layer. I want to grab the right color. So I'm going to use my eyedropper, grab the color. And I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. <clears throat> Just a little bit, right like that. And <clears throat> get on a little bit and I'm thinking that the light is going to come straight down so the top of this fish probably the top curve it might be a little bit bigger up here because more of this is I'm thinking about how this fish might be a round fish so I'm going to definitely hit this curve but first ooh, before I do that I want to make sure my opacity is 100% my 
my size isn't too small or too big. And because I locked my transparency, when I do this, it's only going to put a mark on the stuff that's on this layer. So if I were to erase everything else on this layer, or sorry, not erase everything, but hide all the rest of these layers, you would only see the red there. That's the only thing I can put a mark on. So if I go over here and I go, oh, that's not on the same layer, I can't see it. If I go here, I don't know if you can see that very well. I think I need to make that a little bit lighter. I can put a mark on the red. So I'm going to make that a little bit lighter. There we go. <clears throat> you can also, if you're feeling a little bit creative, you could change the color a little bit, but I'm going to leave it just like this. So I'm going to take my airbrush taper and I'm going to just kind of go along here. I'm thinking it looks pretty good. It's a little bit of a harsh line right there. Maybe want to make it a little curve there. But now I want to blend it. To blend it, it's the same thing we did with the shade, the shade of Q project. Just made it a little bit bigger. And go over that. And I'm just trying to blend in that line right there. A little bit right there. Perfect. And just maybe one little swipe right there. <clears throat> so then I want to do my shadow down here. So I'm going to grab my color. I don't want to grab it up here. I want to grab it where I haven't messed with it yet. Right down there. I'm going to bring my opacity up. Bring my size back down. And I'm going to change my color. Oops. I'm going to just pull that down like this so I have a shade. The same color. And a shade means that you're adding black to it, basically. You're making it darker. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a shadow here. And because my fish is going to be kind of cylinder-ish shaped. I'm trying to make it a little more round. And I want to base it on the shapes that are that your your drawing has. So if it's a straight shape, probably more of a straight shadow. All right. So I want to blend it in. Alright, let's take a step back and look. Looks okay. I think I probably went a little cl too close to that nose. That's alright. If I want to change it, I can always change it later. I think I'm going to leave it the same for now. Maybe the sun is actually right over here a little bit. Maybe I'll move that sun over. I think I will. You can always change your mind a little bit about <clears throat> what you're planning on doing. I'm going to move my sun because I think it'll look better if I have my sun right over there. So I'm going to make that.